Greetings hacksters, today we're going to take a deeper look at the NXP dev kit for the i.MX RT1010 chip. You can find details about this kit on the NXP site, as well as in our first overview video, which you can find on YouTube in this same playlist. What we're going to do right now is get started, so click the orange button on the right side of the screen. The first thing we're going to do, as the instructions say, is to plug it in. There is a little demo blink application that's going to run, and I actually haven't done this before, so I'm pretty excited. Let's go. Now there's a a couple of different micro USB ports on this board. So I'm doing the one on the right here. And indeed here we have a little green blinking LED. Ah! So this comes preloaded on the board. I haven't installed anything yet. And that's the next thing that we're gonna do. So let's go back to the website. I'm going to scroll down and click next in the bottom right corner of the page. And the next thing that we have to do is choose our development path. I'm going to go with the NXP MCU Expresso software because I'm just assuming that it will be easier to set up with the NXP hardware. However, the Zephyr project looks really interesting if you're doing a security focused application. The next thing we're going to do is install the MCU Expresso SDK and IDE. You do have to have an NXP account in order to download these things. So you might want to set that up in advance. 